all right 46 percent complete seven tiers down so that means uh next tier we're gonna obtain that 20 gold for 50 percent completion we need of course two gold trophies here on in tier eight so let's get on with this uh elimination first here at red bull ring grand prix circuit and since my car is already solidly in red I guess I don't need to pull my usual roadblock shenanigan here alright so here we go let's see the outside yeah. has more space to work with in this first corner that way, pick the right corner. Inside, of course, gets super crowded, so it'll be harder to come out of it. So you get stuck behind the congestion. And, uh, I guess, uh, technically, is that corner number two? I know there's a slight bend as we uh, go downhill earlier. Well, I'll refer to it as corner two. And of course, taking over the lead. Now, just, uh, as I said, since the car is already in red, no need for the uh, test on the circuit here. We'll just uh, race normal, more or less. Although, the opponents are falling quite far behind that uh, I'll, I'll take it nice and easy on them. But uh, yeah, they're really taking their sweet time, aren't they? Little Sunday drivers. <laughs> Just three cars. Oop, stay on the track. And four seconds, three, two, oop. Gotta make sure I don't lose my place in this final crucial 20 seconds now, or 14, 13 seconds. Since I, if I lose it now, obviously, it's harder to get it back. So. Nice and clean, clean finish. And there we go. Turn the page. Eliminated. So that is one of the two gold trophies that I'm gonna need to collect my 20 gold, the 50% completion reward. Continuing on, and of course you don't even need all the racing dollar upgrades to reach this PR, but uh, now 48% complete, so just one more gold trophy should get us up to 50%, so let's do this head-to-head uh, -head at Daytona Road Course. Of course, Daytona is going to be a rolling start, so here we go, on straight Get left behind, but uh, as soon as the first bend, they do slow down quite a bit, which opens up that window of opportunity for me to get ahead. And once I'm ahead, much simpler racing from here on out. Of course, now we head on out to the 
outer rim section of Daytona. Two sixty, two seventy, and most cars can take uh, these banked curves on the outer rim section of Daytona pretty well. There's some um, very fast cars, the likes of let's say Venom GT, that uh, you cannot do that. You'll skid out if you go flat out around the outer rim. The banking isn't just enough. You have to slow down. Those cars obviously really push the top speed limit. And unfortunately, uh, they don't have enough downforce to compensate the car down on the tarmac. Anyway, that is good enough for another win. Minute 54 and change for that single lap at Daytona Road Course. Some 1200 fame points to add and uh, yeah, slightly over a second of lead, so that's all right. As I was saying, don't need all those upgrades to get here, but they're just racing dollars. So let's collect this 20 gold, 50% completion reward. All right. So of course, if you want, you can quit here. 51% completion. And of course, we cannot really get up to 75% completion with the current PR, but we can complete this uh, two-lap Circuit of the Americas Cup race, since obviously my PR is a good bit above what's required for this double lapper Circuit of the Americas Grand Prix Cup race. We have a full grid of 22. Uh, doesn't look like it. Is. 16. All right. So as you go deeper into the series, the races tend to get longer. Let's get larger. So, um, apparently for this limited time series, uh, tier 8, we still have just a relatively, I guess you can call this grid size of 16 is a medium size. 22 is the biggest one, not counting NASCAR, because obviously some NASCAR races will have to be, uh, yeah. Big size grid of like what 40 cars plus, right? And that is a lot of cars. Anyway, where do I break for this one? Do I break too late? Uh yeah. <laughs> Definitely on a later side as I had to go into the off track there. Give me an opportunity to wait for the opponent, Fishman, in second place. Alright, now I should be able to go flat out. Uh, or not. Um, I guess this car... The grip is... With these cars like Benino, I feel like the grip isn't so much that it's low grip, it's, it has more to do with the top speed is more than what the grip can handle. So, something to be careful about when you're racing these cars. I don't know, Benino always felt like a little wonky handle, sort of like a 2015 Porsche 919. It's a fine car. Can quite 
get a handle on the way it uh, behaves on the track. Anyway, uh, put, uh, put the inside corner there just a little too close. Would have gotten uh, off track had it been something like time trial. But this is not, so we'll press on and chalk it off as a edge gain. So I do have to break a little bit earlier. And is that early enough? Seems like it. Yep. And some, uh, maybe a little too early as I came out with a bit of a spare tarmac. If you're timing it perfectly, you're coming right around this um, outside rumble strip. Right? Uh, driving the full track, right? But that wasn't quite the case. But that's a okay. really in some critical time trial or anything where every bit of mistake will cost us essentially the amount of gold that we can win. Alright, so final bit. ahead of Fishman in second place. So let's uh, allow them to catch up a little bit more. Around the final bends they will slow down quite a bit and to the finish line. Go. So obviously not a necessary race to claim any more gold if you are not planning on spending any gold on upgrades for this car as the next gold reward is going to be upon completing one gold trophy in tier 12 so you have to get past tier 11 but uh, tier 11 if i remember correctly the cup race requires a pr requirement of 79.3 so just 0.1 higher than what you can get with racing dollars alone but for now that does it for tier 8 and winning that 50% uh, completion reward of extra 20 gold. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. All right, take care.